short drogue shoot deployment in just about two minutes now. And I just heard that we're now below 30 kilometers. If you're just now tuning in, this is Dragon. This is Dragon coming home. This is from a camera on board a chase plane there at the, the landing zone over the Atlantic, about 200 or so nautical miles off the coast of Florida. We're under 30 kilometers, continuing to descend. The next milestone we're gonna be looking for is parachute deployment. And we're now about 20 kilometers in altitude. Dragon spacecraft continuing to descend. It's now subsonic, so already starting to slow down thanks to the error braking, basically slamming into that Earth's atmosphere, causes a lot of friction, and allows the vehicle to eventually reach its terminal velocity, basically. Uh, and then those parachutes are going to kick. So those drogue shoots do the initial slowing and then they're ultimately going to pull out the four main responsible for really slowing the spacecraft down prior to that flashing. You can hear cheering here at SpaceX headquarters as the employees that have gathered around our mission control center are sharing the same view as you. Uh, what a gorgeous shot of Dragon coming back down. for a more picture-perfect <laughs> shot than that. And yes, all, all four shoots now deployed. It's and we have confirmation that Dragon is now under 100 meters, uh, is 100 meters above the, the surface of the ocean. Next up, standing by for splashdown. There's still a little bit more work to be done at this point. Like we said, uh, the recovery team has to safe the vehicle and then uh, lift it onto the recovery vessel. Uh, however, obviously by the excited cheers uh, here at Mission Control, the splashdown is an enormous event for us uh, in terms of the safe re-entry, um, or excuse me, the safe return to Earth from the International Space Station. 